Hello children, welcome to 9th chemistry online classes. Chapter 4 Structure of the Atom An atom consists of two charged particles, positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons. And we studied Thomson's model of an atom. According to Thomson, an atom consists of a positively charged sphere and the electrons are embedded in it. And the protons and electrons are equal in magnitude, so the atom is electrically neutral. And because of some reason, this model also discarded. And next model that is Rutherford's model of an atom. So let us see that model. Rutherford's model of an atom. So according to Thomson's model of an atom, we know that an atom consists of positively charged protons and uh, negatively charged uh, electrons in an atom. But we don't know the uh, place or where is the location of protons and where is the location of electrons. We don't know the arrangement or the pattern of an atom. So uh, next uh, model that is Rutherford's model of an atom and Ernest Rutherford, he is a very famous uh, scientist and uh, he performed one interesting or famous uh, experiment and Rutherford considered or known as the father of nuclear physics and for this experiment he took two things and this experiment name uh, is gold foil experiment or alpha particle scattering experiment okay and for this experiment, he took two things. One is a gold foil. And why, why he selected a gold foil? You know that gold is a highly malleable metal. We can make it a thin sheet. And here he took the gold foil was about 1000 atoms thick. So you just uh, think about how much the uh, uh, thickness of that gold foil that much thin so that is why he took gold foil because it is highly a uh, malleable metal next thing is alpha particle so alpha you can see that how why uh, it represent or how it write alpha you can see in your textbook also and what is alpha particle alpha particles are a positively charged particles positively charged okay just to note that point alpha rays or alpha particles are positively charged and they are doubly charged helium ions okay they are doubly charged helium ions and their mass is 4u its atomic mass is 4u so its mass is a little bit higher than or heavier than protons and protons also having positive charge and here alpha rays also having positive charge and you know that positive uh, positive uh, po positives are repel with each other okay like charges and see here and we'll see what is the uh, experiment so in this experiment he took two things one is a gold foil and another was alpha particle. Alpha particles are positively charged particles. And first you see this uh, picture. So here you can see one box and that box is uh, an alpha particle emitter. So for, uh, inside the box alpha particles emitted. So that alpha particles emitted like this and uh, it go through uh, some slits and it uh, come come and touch to this gold foil so here placed one gold foil okay so that gold foil 
this uh, this alpha particle and this alpha particles have much energy also and this alpha particles come and hit on this uh, gold foil some rays are scattering like this you can see here the scattering and some rays uh, or uh, some rays are scattering in different angles okay and uh, some are bounce back some rays are bounce back okay uh, like a, a rubber ball when you throw one rubber ball uh, towards one wall it come back so same way some rays very very rare uh, rare, rare case very small uh, proportion of rays bounce back and other rays are uh, deviate in different angles okay now i'll just to read this part also listen these rays that is alpha particles rays when passed through through it suffered reflections through it means this uh, gold foil uh, passed through gold foil suffered reflections at different angles and to note that a movable screen made of fluorescent material was placed around it so here one fl fluorescent material so uh, when the reflector rays strike that sc screen it causes scintillation so when these particles come uh, through this gold foil and touch to this uh, screen so you can see one uh, light that is called scintillation when he passed these rays through gold foil various observations were seen so i'll just to show one video also see here is the alpha particle emitter and alpha particles emitted from this box okay so the alpha particle emitted out and through some slits it come and hit on the gold foil so this is one gold foil alpha particles falling on the gold foil and it has some reflections it has some deviations from their path at different angles see different angles and you can see the scintillations here but one or two in a very rare case one or two things uh, come back or uh, bounce back see here also here each gold uh, this is gold foil consists of many gold atoms so you can see this is each gold atom okay and some are bounce back and uh, many other are deviate at different angles what are children then we will see which are the observations where as follows so uh, by performed this activity or this ex experiment he uh, uh, noted some observations so what are they listen most of the rays passed straight so here you can see that most rays are passed straight they, they have no deviation some rays were deflected through small and large angles and some are have a deviation see here small uh, deviation some have a large deviation like that and some rays rebound back see here some rays rebound okay it's come back so these are the observations so very very important these three observations so after performing the alpha particle experiment he observed uh, these points which are these th three points most of the rays passed straight some rays were deflected through small and large angles some rays rebound back so these observations are very very important then so by looking these observations he made some conclusions also which are they the following conclusions were made 
most of the space in an atom is empty okay so that is why this alpha particles has no deviation they pass straight because alpha particles are positively charged particles so uh, that uh, um, so in an atom many parts are empty so that is why there is no uh, electrons and there is no protons there is no charged particles so this uh, positively charged alpha particles can move very freely through this atom uh, or most of the space in an atom is empty that is why many or most of the rays passed straight and second observation is some rays were deflected through small and large angles uh, that conclusion is like that there is something in the center of an atom called nucleus so he concluded that what in the center it is nucleus and uh, some rays rebound back that is the third observation and the conclusion is nucleus is positively charged so that is why the nucleus is positively charged means protons are protons are positively charged protons are inside the nucleus and alpha particles that rays also positively charged particles so they repel with each other that is why that alpha particles come back okay uh, so that is the uh, three conclusions so these observations and conclusions are very very important yes so according to rutherford the structure of an atom so after the uh, this uh, alpha scattering experiment he gave one structure for that atom see the nucleus is located at the center of the atom see like this nucleus is the center and protons are inside the nucleus protons having positive charge so nucleus also having positive charge all the mass of the atom is because of the nucleus and the mass mass of an atom is concentrated in the inside the nucleus okay an atom and the full mass is concentrated in this nucleus in the center the electrons revolve around the nucleus in circular paths which are called orbits like our solar system the sun is in the middle and other planets are revolving around the orbits or uh, the same like here sun the like nucleus and electrons are same like our planets and the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in circular paths which are called orbits or shells okay so in this picture uh, the center part is nucleus and electrons are revolving around through these paths called orbits then if we compare the size of the atom and nucleus the nucleus is much smaller than the atom okay the size of the electron uh, the sorry the size of the nucleus size of the nucleus is much smaller than the atom same like uh, just imagine one football ground okay a football ground and you uh, keep one football in the middle of the ground so same like that okay that uh, football is the nucleus and that full empty space that ground is the size of the atom so that uh, that is the difference of that uh, size of nucleus and that atom got it children so this is the structure of rutherford's model of an atom drawbacks of the nuclear model of an atom so now we will discuss the demerits of this model this rutherford's model the nuclear model of the atom failed to explain how an atom remains stable so this rutherford's model of an atom uh, couldn't explain uh, the stability of an atom any particle in a circular orbit so you uh, we so uh, see that the electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the circular path so any particle in a uh, circular orbit would undergo acceleration 
so any particle that move in a circular path it's having acceleration why because that is a circular path so each second is change its velocity so rate of change of velocity is called acceleration so in each moment because it is moving in a circular path so each moment its speed or its velocity changes okay so uh, definitely acceleration will be there so during acceleration charged particles radiate energy okay so uh, any particle that move in a uh, circular path it emits some radiation or it radiates some energy so if electrons start moving in a circular motion around the nucleus they would also radiate some energy which would decrease at the speed of the electrons as a result they would fall into the nucleus because of its high positive charge okay so any uh, particle they move in a orbit uh, in a circular path they have definitely they have acceleration and uh, these electrons also have acceleration and finally they fall into the nucleus a nucleus is positively charged particle and the electrons are uh, fall into the uh, nucleus okay so that that is the drawback of the nuclear this uh, rutherford model if this were so the atom should be highly unstable and hence matter would not exist in the form that we know so has the rutherford's concept uh, it has uh, some acceleration and uh, it, uh, he couldn't explain the stability of the atom because after uh, revolving around the nucleus finally the electrons fall into the nucleus and uh, collapse that at so uh, he he couldn't explain the stability but we know that atoms are quite or complete stable they are highly stable actually atoms are highly stable but his uh, atom model couldn't explain the stability okay children and the next class we will study the next model okay so in this uh, this rutherford uh, model of an atom that uh, experiment and uh, uh, its uh, observations and conclusion with figure that is very very important okay so that experiment and uh, conclusion uh, observation and conclusion so that's very important so uh, read the textbook also very well and watch the video also okay children so thank you all the best